to be gay before Stonewall was to be completely invisible and to never see anyone like yourself on television or in the movies practically ever. Uh, when I first came to New York at 18, the reason why I came to Stonewall as one of the very first places in arriving in New York City, coming to Christopher Street, was because Stonewall was larger than life. It was something I had read about in history books, it's something I saw on TV and in documentaries. It was that symbol of equality and of fighting back for the LGBT community, and it still holds that significance today. Learning about Stonewall gave me a lot of uh, hope and it gave me uh, that extra push that I needed to find myself and to fight to be who I am. You know, I was born less than two months after the Stonewall riots in August of 1969, and I often feel like that fight and that riot that night and that resistance, you know, those folks, uh, Sylvia Rivera and the trans women and the queer kids and all those folks who fought back, they were fighting back for themselves, but they were also fighting so that queer kids like me, who would be born only seven weeks later, could have a different life. Pride is home. It's a place that I feel myself and can communicate my deepest intentions about how I love and who I choose to love. And pride is, pride is beautiful and we get to celebrate it. Uh, it's, about, it's about joy, but it's also about remembering all those who have died and have sacrificed their lives and those who continue to sacrifice their lives for, for that sense of safety and home that they cannot share. Pride as, as a way of asserting our humanity and making our presence known and making it clear that we as a community will never fade into the closet again, that we're going to assert our humanity and our status as equal members of the American family. Stonewall was the beginning of a revolution for us. I think that uh, that is really important. Um, and um, the original ideas of Stonewall um, I think are, uh, are an important lesson for um, all young people. You know, the idea that you can be who you are and not have to worry about what other people think, that's what I get out of Stonewall and I hope that's what younger people get out of it as well. New Yorkers need to continue to keep pushing for equality and justice and progress. Progress is not guaranteed. Progress comes because you have an uprising at Stonewall. Progress comes because you come out. Progress comes because you tell your story. Progress comes because you continue to say there is deep injustice in the world and it's important for us to fight to correct that injustice. It is not guaranteed. It doesn't happen on its own. It doesn't happen overnight. New Yorkers need to continue to push to make our world, our country, and our city a more just and equal place. I am ready to celebrate and I'm ready to embrace my LGBTness and my transness and my New Yorkness. Mm -hmm.